Join me in mysterious Sedona, Arizona for Tone That Booty Routine. We will do four rounds of toning moves and then repeat them one more time. This routine is super effective despite its slow, almost meditative pace. Instead of huffing and puffing, doing multiple reps, we will hold each pose for five breaths, keeping glute muscles engaged the whole time. Take a few deep, energizing breaths as you prepare your body for the workout. Take a look at the first round. We will start with a narrow star stance then tippy toes, then we will go into one-legged stance and then we will bring that leg even higher, engaging the glutes. Tuck in your pelvis, roll your shoulders back and let's begin. Arms up and really squeeze that booty. Clench your butt cheeks and don't let go. Hold. Now engaging your quads, keep squeezing, but now stand on your tippy toes. Just five breaths here. Lower down, ground yourself through one leg, balance, and just let your tippy toes float off the ground a few inches. And now bring that leg as high as you can. Squeeze through that side booty. Other side. Lift that leg up just a little bit. Five breaths. Bring that leg higher. Balance. Strong standing leg. Second round contains three poses. A chair pose, a yogi squat, and a low squat hold. Restore your breath and sit low into your heels with your upper body directed upwards. Chair pose. Make sure you're able to peel your toes off your mat, ensuring that all of your weight is in your heels. Go deep into a yogi squat, pushing your knees apart with your elbows. Breathe. Go into a low squat with your back almost parallel to the ground. Weight in the heels again. Great job. Done with the second round. I find the third round to be the most challenging, so prepare yourself, we can do this together. It will include a goddess pose, asymmetrical goddess pose on both sides, and then tiptoe goddess. Set yourself up with a wide stance, and then you will drop your hips low with your knees pointing to the back of the room or to the cathedral mountains in my case and then make sure your thighs are almost parallel to the ground. Bring one heel off the ground, balance, breathe, hold. Switch legs, bring your other heel off the ground, stay low, and done. Breathe out, restore your breath, and prepare for the last goddess pose variation with both of your heels off the ground or stay in a traditional goddess pose. You did it! For the fourth and last round, we will do donkey holds, fire hydrant holds, bridge pose, and one-legged bridge pose on both sides. Get set up with your elbows under shoulders and bring your left leg up. Pull your foot up so that you really feel the engagement in your glute and then switch legs. Don't relax, keep pulling that foot upwards so that your booty's burning. For the fire hydrant hold, your knee will travel sideways, kind of like a doggy on a walk, 
You should feel it in your glute on that left side. Time for the right leg to come up. Breathe. The glute should be engaged for all of the five breaths. Put your knee down and now we will get a bit of a rest. Lay on your back. Lift your hips off the ground. Don't sag. Really engage through that booty. Now bring your left leg up, keeping your booty high. Hold. Breathe. Switch legs. We are almost done here. Finish this set strong. And let's relax in a figure four stretch. Your right ankle will come just below your left knee. And then you can thread your arms through and pull your leg into for a deeper stretch. Give attention to the other side. Pull that leg in. Sit up and find yourself in a butterfly stretch, soles of the feet touching. Now that we have given ourselves this little break, let's do this one more time. First round, narrow star. Arms come up, really, really clench those butt cheeks. Engage, make this pose an active one. This time, let's do a tippy-toe mountain pose with your arms down. Engage through your quads and keep that booty tight. Leg comes up, balance, just a few inches off the ground. Bring it higher, hold. Other side. Higher, hold. Couple more breaths and done with the first round. A few more restorative breaths here and sit nice and low into that chair pose. Gaze forward, peel those toes off the mat just a little bit. Deep stretching yogi squat. To low squat hold. Thighs parallel to the ground. Stay low. Round two, done. Get ready for the goddess pose. Set yourself up nice and wide, toes pointing sideways out, and then lower your hips. Thighs in line, parallel to the ground. Hold. One foot stays grounded. One heel is up. Switch sides now. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. Whew. One restorative breath here and go into the most challenging variation or keep the classic one. Awesome job, we're done with the hardest part of this workout. Let's finish strong with round four. Find yourself down on the ground, knees right below your hips, and bring your left leg up. 
donkey hold. Other leg. Let's tone that side booty, bring your knees sideways, fire hydrant hold. Doing great, other side. You might be shaking a little bit, that is a good sign. Done here, make your way to lay down on your back for bridge pose, peel your hips up off the ground, hold. Great job, left leg comes up, don't let those hips sag. Strong leg, strong glute, other side. Couple breaths left and done. Relax your body fully down and let's finish with one more figure four stretch on both sides. Acknowledge how differently you feel now for the stretch at the end of this workout. Switch, give attention to the other side. Pull your leg in for an even deeper stretch. And let's finish with one more butterfly stretch. A great stretch for your hip flexors, your thigh muscles. Thank you for sharing this beautiful place and this workout with me. Please subscribe for more videos and thank your body for being capable of great things.